God calls us to remain connected, to steadfastly abide, because out of the faithfulness comes fruitfulness. Having faith and acting on it is what it means to abide in the love of Christ. If you do this, you will bear much fruit. Faithfulness is the path to fruitfulness. Our faithfulness is demonstrated by our fruit. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 10. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God not by your works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. The time for Jesus Christ's return is near. Remain faithful to God until the end. Bearing much fruit. Glorify God by bearing much fruit, by being a faithful son or daughter. Faithfulness begins with your relationship with God. If you are faithful to him, you will in turn be faithful in all else. Faithfulness requires sacrifice. God is very faithful to all of us. We should strive to be as faithful as we can be to him who loves us. One of the most important things to the father is whether or not his children are faithful. He is looking for faithful followers and is eager to reward them. God favors the faithful. Faithfulness has roots in God. The reason you breathe is that God is faithful in sustaining us. There is powerfulness when we choose faithfulness to God. When we make sacrifices and serve God, we prove ourselves faithful. The resulting blessings are far greater than any sacrifices we may make. Faithfulness leads to God's approval. When our faith is strong, we have absolute trust in God's love. Faithfulness to God is impossible unless it springs from a trusting, believing heart. We all need to honestly think about the judgment to come. Faithfulness is not measured by how religious we are, but by how much we trust the Father and do His will. A thankful heart will produce a faithful heart. Being able to fully trust God is the beginning of living an abundant life. God is perfectly faithful, steadfast, and true. Respond to his faithfulness today. May you respond to God's faithfulness with your own. God is faithful to his people. We are also supposed to be faithful to him. When we are faithful to God, it means that we trust him. He wants us to do good things with our talent and resources that we are given. Faithful allegiance to God is the only thing we can count on. With the earnest resolution to remain faithful to God until the end, we should keep the faith that we can receive the crown of life. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison and test you. You will suffer persecution for 10 days. Be faithful, even to the point of death, and I will give you life as your victor's crown. When God sees us working hard, multiplying and being faithful, he will elevate us to new levels. Faithfulness is one of the fruits that God produces in us and requires of us. Bearing fruit comes through our connection and relationship with Jesus the vine. When we persevere, we demonstrate faithfulness. Persistence in tribulation is perseverance. To live out faith takes perseverance, walking in and being faithful even through trials and tribulations. Faithfulness is measured by seasons. Perseverance is essential. Faithfulness is a call for all of us. God the Father has saved us, but has also called us to be faithful to the task he has given. God has lovingly given us the attribute of faithfulness as a measurement of our relationship with him. Jesus showed us what it means to live a life of faithfulness through obedience of the Father. Faithfulness is at the heart of the fruit of the Spirit. God cultivates it in us as we trust him and when we exhibit God's gracious faithfulness to draw others near him. As the fruit of the Spirit takes root, faithfulness to God grows. As we trust the Father, relying on him as the truth, our faith deepens. Our faithfulness is reflected so others may see him through us. God's desire is that you will bear much fruit for abiding in faith, 
That's his promise for sure. The end of time is upon us, and God is calling each of us and all God's remnant people to be faithful to him in every way. It is only through connecting to the vine that we can be fruitful and faithful in this age of unfaithfulness. Through Christ's righteousness and grace, we can be faithful. Be faithful because he is faithful. Face the last days standing faithfully for God. Be faithful until death, and he will give you the crown of life. God demands that every soul who knows the truth shall seek to the others to love the truth. God wants to lead to true worship and joyful preparation for Jesus' second coming. End times should be welcomed by the faithful, for Jesus Christ's return will bring salvation. The righteous live by faith. We must grow as the return of Christ nears. Faithfulness to the Lord is a prime necessity for believers. A belief in the Lord that involves total trust will result in faithfulness to Him in the principle of God's Word. Faith begins and ends in a total trust with such confidence that we can rest the entire life and future in the Lord, the caring hands who is ever faithful. Psalm chapter 119 verse 30. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set my heart on your laws. Faithfulness is one of the fruits of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Faithfulness to God, there should be a burning desire in the believer's heart. We have come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original conviction firmly to the very end, as has just been said. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion. Hebrews chapter 3 verses 14 and 15. Faithfulness is an essential in the end times, for the unfaithful will necessarily be sifted before end comes. Faithfulness exhibits itself with both word and works. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Being faithful means we get our lives in order because Jesus is coming. The Lord calls us to remain faithful to the very end. One aspect of being faithful to the Lord and finishing well is our faithfulness to the responsibilities, gifts, and resources that he entrusts to us. Faithfulness is doing what God has told you to do with the resources he has given you. Faithfulness is or of the fruits of the Spirit. Faithfulness is one of the fruits of the Spirit's. If you are not praying, you will not have spiritual strength. We are encouraged to be faithful in prayer. Faithfulness is the requisite for blessings, and that is why the enemy will always challenge your faithfulness. God preserves the faithful. A great life is lived by faith, and faithfulness is the best expression of this life. Faithfulness is the evidence of the Holy Spirit working in our lives. Since God is faithful, it has become our responsibility to imitate him in being faithful and committing our lives to doing well. Matthew chapter 24 verses 45 through 47. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom the master has put in charge of the servants in his household? Give them their food at proper time. It will be good for the servant whose master finds him doing so when he returns true i tell you he will put him in charge of all his possessions god is faithful the strength to the faithful is promised to us fruit of the spirit can be produced in us when we yield as faithful servants faithfulness and love proving it is a love that hangs on until the end it is consistent dependability our faithfulness allows us to trust in God's promises. As we anticipate the Savior's return to reign, we must prepare ourselves. Be true and faithful. Let us be faithful in the Lord Jesus Christ is coming to reign on earth. The Lord has great work ahead and is preparing people to do it before his coming. Trust in God. 
Remember your prayers, get faith in the Lord. Watch the signs of the times and be prepared for that which is to come. Faithfulness is a quality that enables a person to continue doing the right thing. The faithful person remains committed to love and behave in a way consistent with the light that is the Spirit revealed. When we trust God's promises, we will find the strength to be faithful during seasons of trial. Faithfulness is tied to perseverance and trust in God. Our faith illuminates our daily life. Walking obedience by listening to God will naturally produce in us a spirit of faithfulness. God is trustworthy with us, and we can be faithworthy with Him. Faithfulness is the ability to take what Christ has done in us and be a blessing to others. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 through 7. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands, I give you today the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you. If you obey the Lord your God, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your room will be blessed and the crops of your land and the flock of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flock. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction and flee from you in seven. As we follow Christ, we are called to remain faithful. It is Jesus being true that causes us to stay faithful. Just like Christ, we must be faithful and stand firm in tough situations. One way to remain faithful is to continually thank the Father. Jesus was continually faithful in all situations. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 23. But each in turn, Christ the first fruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him. Faithfulness is an attribute of the Holy Trinity. God the Father is faithful. He is the faithful God. Our Lord Jesus is called faithful and true. He is the author and perfecter of faith. Faithfulness is an attribute of the Holy Spirit and is the fruit of the Spirit. The end of all things is near. Your faithfulness to all that the Father has entrusted us matters deeply to Him and carries eternal significance. It is the truth that the Lord rewards you for faithfulness. He promises to preserve, watch over, and reward you. Be faithful now and to the very end of the age. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to keep them. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10 each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God. God is calling you to remain faithful because he will remain faithful until the end. Remain faithful until the end. If we are faithful, God will save us and glorify us in the life to come. Faithfulness involves giving our whole heart to God. Be faithful to the blood of Christ and the gospel. The cross will take you home if we choose to be faithful to the end. Heavenly Father, we thank you that your steadfast love never ceases and that your mercies are new every morning. May we remember that you have lavished your great love on us so that we could be called the children of God. Let us walk by faith in you and not by sight. As we walk through the depths of the valley, may we see you in the heights of your glory. We ask this humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Loving Father, as your dearest children, you call to be holy as you are holy. Grant us the grace to do your holy will. May we also caution and encourage one another. 
may we be equipped with holiness like lambs constantly burning and shining in our hearts make us safe and fruitful today we come to you in the mighty name of jesus our lord and savior amen holy father everything that is good is from you we own nothing but sin grant us the grace of fruitfulness may your life-giving words grow within us constantly nurture in us the seed of your word Grant us the grace of constant humility so that we may become good, fertile souls in order for your word of your Son, Jesus Christ, to bear fruit each day. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. God bless you. Much love.